Morning, Murph. What are you drinking? Morning. Uh, just a large latte today. Very simple. You missed last week with concussion protocols. How are you feeling now? Yeah, no, all sweet. Uh, head's all good, which is good. Um, yeah, probably deserved it. I was being a bit of a pest, so... Um, but yeah, just got to be careful. Had eight or nine now, so just trying to look after myself. And you were watching Anzac Day from the stands. How was that experience? Yeah, it was tough. Uh, it's probably the first time in a year and a bit that I've watched football from the stands, so it was tough. But um, it's nice to have full confidence in the boys. And to do what we did last year um, and do it again was good to see. So yeah, it was exciting. And it's a 4.40 game here in Adelaide today. How do you get through the next few hours and into the early afternoon in terms of your preparation? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty chilled out. Um, I brought my laptops, might do some uni, uh, probably won't actually. I brought my laptops, but I never actually opened them up. But um, yeah, just talk a bit of crap with the boys and uh, just relax really. And what do you love most about away trips? Uh, yeah, I think it's just a good chance to bond with boys that you might not spend heaps of time with at the club. Um, there's a lot of card games, a lot of fun, a lot of crap talking, as I said. So, um, yeah, it's nice to get away and just get closer with a few boys. And the origins of the headband, when did you adopt it and why? And is it true that it's a Darcy Moore hand-me-down? <laughs> I really hate to say this, but yes, it is a Darcy Moore hand-me-down. I'm just trying to look more and more like him at the moment. But um, it probably came last year after the injury. Um, yeah, I'm so lost with my hair at the moment. It's the biggest problem of my week, what headband I'm going to wear. So um, I need to sort my life out a bit, I think. And you're an equal owner in a cafe with Ruffy. He's a coach at the club. Can you talk us through that dynamic, I guess, coming from the cafe to the club and the, and the power balance there? Yeah, Ruff likes to think, well, he does have the most ownership in the cafe, but we like to think it's equal. Um, He's pretty demanding and pretty grumpy sometimes, Ruffy, so it's just easier to give it to him and let him make the decisions. But uh, yeah, between myself, Checkers and Cal Brown, we've got no clue what's going on half the time, so we kind of trust him. But um, no, nah, it's good fun. Cafe's doing well, which is good, so it's very exciting. And how much of your trash talking ability did you bring across from your career in cricket into <laughs> AFL? <laughs> yeah, as I said, I'm just a pest. Half of the time it doesn't even make sense, so I don't even know what I'm saying. I just hope I find it along the way. It's a bit like Michael Scott off the office, but um, yeah, no, nah, I just, I don't have too much football ability, so I try to back it up with my trash talking at the moment, so yeah. And just finally, what's on for the remainder of today? Uh, yeah, probably just go back and um, hopefully do some uni, probably not, but um, get coffee later, um, just chilling, just seeing the sights of Adelaide, so it should be good. Great to see you, Murph. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, boys. Have a good one.